this is all about the multidimensional array. So wherein we are going to declare or use today the four, a four-dimensional array. So this four-dimensional array is composed of a 3x3x3x3 three by three by three by three lang. So medyo maliit lang yung gamitin natin. So para hindi tayo mahirapan sa paglagay ng data. But although pwede naman malaking data, but since I'm going to present to you paano ba na-store yung data out of this four-dimensional array. So that if there is an activity na binigay ko sa inyo, you could already filled out the specific data. Okay. Mag-fill out nyo na yung mga data doon with regards to special multi-dimensional. Yung parang ma ma at least mabibuyo nyo siya. Kung dati parang pag sinabi kang pag sinabi multi-dimensional array is na picture out yung agad yung cube. So paano what but what if I place the data in this part of in the space of a, in the particular face of the cube? So paano mo siya maalalaman na doon pala kuha yung data? So let's begin with this 3 by 3. So itong 3 by 3, kay siyempre kailangan natin mag-declare let's say ng isang variable ng num which is a 3 by 3. I am mean for four dimensional array. Then instantiate it to new object which is an integer. Lagay natin 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. So yan. Ayon, since we already declared the number, the variable num. So itong mga square brackets niyan, pwede niyo siya i-place after 9 Okay. Pero minsan iwahiwalay dito lang sa declaration. Pero at the instantiation hindi na pwede. Okay? So next is we have the uh lagyan natin siya ng input. Okay? Lagyan natin siya ng input doon sa loob ng for this for this four dimensional array so that we could test if it really uh if the data is really on the proper position ng kanyang index. Okay? So, para pag nag-test tayo, ano ba yung laman ng ganitong value, it should be equal. Kung ano yung iniisip natin na value, dapat yun din yung magiging output niya. So, let's begin it with starting with the outer loop of the first uh, dimension. So, this for loop na ito is for the first outer dimension. So, this is 3 also. So, ito yung pinakauna niya. First outer. Ito yung pinakaunang dimension na gagawa natin. So, we will start from i. Let's say in i is equal to 0. Then, i is less than. So, we already know that the length of the, the first dimension is 3. So, ilagay na lang natin na 3 siya. Then, we have to increment i. So that is for the first. Now, for the second naman, syempre, for, uh, let's say, 8j is equal to 0, j is less than 3 din siya, then j plus plus, or increment j, and this is for the second dimension. So second na siya, second dimension. Tapos, ito naman will be the first from the outer. So, the next two columns will be the uh, the inner row and the column. So, simulan natin sa inner row. So, for uh, j, j in, so k na tayo. k is equal to 0. So, k is less than 3, then increment k, then we are now in the third dimension. Dimension, pero but for rows. So, for rows na siya. And next is for the column we have int 
L equal to 0, then L will be less than the 3 then siya. Then increment L. So, yan na yung itsura niyan. This is already the for, the, for the four dimensional array. So, now, lagay tayo ng out, ng input. Before num. So, this is i, a, a, and l will be equal. Uh, lagay tayo ng isang counter. All integer. Let's say, int count equal to 0. So, we begin now count. Then, syempre, we increment count. So, ibig sabihin eh, ito, this will be the uh, column for the deluxe dimension. So, yan. Ito na yung coordinate. Ibig sabihin, malalagyan na siya ng laman. Then, if we test, let's say, system that out, that print, ln. So, if we are going to test the value of uh, of this dimension, let's say, uh, num, Zero, zero lahat. So, dapat yung value din should be zero. Okay, natin. Okay, so, di, tingnan nyo yung value niya, zero din. Zero yung value niya. So, kung gusto nyo tingnan, uh, let's say, tingnan natin yung laman ng lahat ng array, pwede ko rin ito i-copya. Kopya ko yan, paste ko dito, then I'll check the the content. So, ang mangyayari is, let's try displaying the... Para malaman natin kung ano yung laman niya. Kung talagang meron. Okay, so yan. Let's try natin. Yun, meron siyang laman, no? Okay, meron siyang laman. Okay, so ngayon, uh, let's say, palitan natin to Alisin ko muna to So, alibawa, gawin ko tong to So, what is the value, possible value, out of the input? Titingnan natin. Okay, so, it's 54. So, sige. I-dissect muna natin tong code na to para at least alam natin kung sa anong location talaga pumupunta, kung tama ba yung na-locate natin na, na input. So, mag-open ako ng Excel. So, di ba meron tayong 3x3? So, this is a 3x3x3x3 by 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 na array. So, kung meron tayong 3x3, let's say meron tayong, unahin natin yung pinakaunang dimension niya, which is 3. Pula, lagyan natin ng color na let's say blue okay, that is blue so mayroon tayong tatlo mayroon tayong tatlo dito so tatlo yan so let's label this as zero so, zero one two okay so gawin natin white para makita nyo so that's their label. Then the next is meron naman tayong tatlo na dimension. Another dimension we have 3. So halimbawa itong tatlong to. So pulayan na lang natin ng see, light green. Light red. So green na lang. So, gray. Light blue. Then light yellow. Yan. Okay, so, lagyan natin ng mga ito. 
space like that. We put some spaces. Okay, yeah. Get like that. Then. Remove that. So, mayroon na tayong tatlo. Uh, dito muna tayo sa pinakauna. So, this is already the, the, the second dimension. So, we have 0, 1, and 2. We have 0, 1, and 2. We have 0, 1, and 2. Okay? So, yan yung pinakauna nating dimension. The next part is the third one, which is the already the, the rows and columns. So, in rows and columns, dapat mayroon tayong sige isa dito eh. We have for 0, we have for 1, we have for 2. Okay. So, simula tayo sa, let's say, sa 0. Image natin ito. So, this is for column 0. Okay. So, 0 siya. Okay. Then, we have 3 columns here which labeled as ay wala sabi lang so, dito ko na lang ilagay yung 0 para makapag-label okay, so this is label 0 and this is for the value of the columns and rows for the for the other two dimension so meron din siya syempre 0 1 at saka 2 okay meron din siyang 0 1 at saka Insert na lang ako ng para hindi magulo. Okay, so yan. Part ng 0. Nagyan natin ang color. Light green. Okay, so 0. Okay? So, the next part. So, gawin ko. Uh, kahit i-copyin ko na lang to. Dito ko na lang siya i-paste. So, the next part, this will be for 1. Ito, dito naman tayo. For one dimension, uh, for the 1 column. This is for 1 and another. So, copy yan ulit natin. Na. For, this is already for column, na, for the last column. For 2. So, yan, for 2. So since nagawa na natin siya for the first part ng zero, ng first dimension, so ang gagawin na lang natin is pwede na lang natin i-copyahin. So we will copy this part. Copyahin natin para mas is natin for each dimension. Kasi parehas lang naman, ang gagawin lang lang natin is palitan na lang natin yung data. So nagtapos tayo sa 26, gawin natin itong So, ito na yung itsura. Okay, so yan. Okay. Ito yan, nabuo na natin. So, that is already, this, ito na yung itsura ng isang multidimensional array na uh, four-dimensional array. Ngayon, ang gagawin na natin is, yung kanina, hinanap natin ay 2, 0, 0. We have 2, 0. So, pupunta siya dito sa 0. Then, 0, 0, which is 54. Tama. Kung gusto nyo tingnan naman, let's say ito, tingnan natin kung ang value ng 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 ay 40. Kung ang value ng 1, 1, 1, at saka 1 is equivalent to 40. So, 
su reporte.